Killer Whales is a Shark Tank-like show for the next generation. Different crypto founders step up and pitch themselves to a rotating cast of Killer Whale judges. You can watch this show right now, linked below. This show will be premiering on Apple TV very soon. Austin and I are part of the Killer Whales judges, also producers on the show. Killer Whales, such an exciting show to watch. Things get personal sometimes. Explain it to her like she's five. Thank you. If we fail, the world is The back and forth with the contestants. How are you going to compete with the big boys, the Spotify's, the Apple Music? Those are the biggest competition, and they're not going to let you guys just roll in. The back and forth with the judges. And I also would be willing to pay you to headbutt Mario when this is over. Now, Paul, you are the creator of Killer Whales and the founder of Hello Labs. Now that the show's out, what's been the initial reaction to the show? I mean, it's been overwhelmingly positive. I think when you put something like this into the world that we've all worked on together and we've chipped away at this kind of massive block of ice to make it into something that's kind of the public will really want. I think when you give it to the world, you're always expecting mixed, mixed emotions. And I think what's been really apparent so far is that it's been overwhelmingly positively received. I think there's certain things that we can improve on for future seasons and, and future episodes. But what I love is like people's reactions online when they're kind of seeing the production quality, they're seeing the back and forth between the whales, they may be learning more about crypto than what they went in with knowing. And I think overall is like a, some of its parts. I think it's a really great step for, for Hello Labs, for Killer Whales, and hopefully the, the entire crypto industry, because I do feel it's going to be that bridge between the kind of crypto industry and then the mainstream of people, your mums and dads, your aunties and uncles sitting at home, kind of wondering what we're all talking about online every day. And hopefully they can watch Killer Whales and get a kind of better insight into the industry and how and the people behind it. One of the things that was most exciting to me was production quality. And obviously you come from that world, creative producer of the MTV Movie Awards or um, VMA, sorry, VMAs. And um, uh, my question to you, like, what are you most, only one to two episodes have aired thus far. What are you most excited for, for the rest of the episodes that have yet to air? I think it's um, one of the things I'm most excited about is kind of seeing people's reactions to the individual themes in each episode. So obviously episode one is kind of real world use cases. Episode two is entertainment. Three is gaming. Four is digital security. And five is NFTs. And every episode has their own mix of judges. So what's really interesting just seeing the feedback so far is kind of episode one, the kind of ran Wendy banter. And then as we move through the episode, I think on the gaming episode, you guys are, are both in uh, on the show together. And there's kind of some sibling, sibling rivalry as well. So I really feel like it's interesting to see how people react to the individual episodes. And then as you mentioned about the production quality, I think what this industry is really lacking is kind of real kind of production quality, not only from a TV and content point of view, but also from a kind of just an overall kind of raising the bar. And I think Killer Whales, at first glance, you kind of see the Hollywood production value behind it and the time and effort that's been put into it. And it just makes you want to watch it well, I hope so anyway. It makes you want to watch it that little bit more. Uh, not that I'm saying I love, obviously, Altcoin Daily. Production value is always super high with your beautifully blared backgrounds. Uh, but, you know, we've tried to kind of take it up a notch. And you guys have been a big part of that as well, kind of making sure that we're, we tr we're true to the whole crypto community. And this isn't a show just for kind of Hollywood, but it's for the whole community and the whole industry. One of the questions that I've been getting for months is, where will I be able to watch this show? Is this coming to any streaming service that I can watch it on. And big news, as of March 11th, this show will be available on Apple TV, which is a pretty big deal. C could you tell us more about that? Yeah, absolutely. I think what's really important from day one was to kind of make a show that would transcend the kind of crypto community and crypto sphere and make it to the mainstream. So kind of getting this deal across the line with Apple TV, which could be available on their platform, kind of is the first step on that. And then over the next few weeks, we're going to be announcing more streaming platforms that will be airing the show as well. So we want to make the show as widely available as possible. Uh, it's in five different languages uh, across more than 55 countries. And our kind of target goal was to make this available but to uh, over 500 million people from day one. And I think we're well on the way to making that goal. And and as, as we say, this is season one. So I can only imagine where we're going to be in kind of season two, three, and four, and five once we've kind of really got this foundation set and then we start building it into the future seasons as well. So I couldn't be more excited in terms of you watching it with your family uh, and everyone kind of giving their opinion on on the show, 
the projects, the whales, everything's up for grabs. And I think it's really exciting times. One of my final questions for you, because I, you know, this is a crypto channel. I want to hear you have a crypto media company. And I know we have a lot of people in our audience who are a part of the Hello Labs community. So what's next for Killer Whales? And also what's next for Hello Labs? Yeah, so for Killer Whales, we're in this kind of cycle at the moment where we're putting out the five episodes uh, on Hello TV, which is our new streaming platform. So people can go and watch the show there before it hits the mainstream using the Hello token. And that'll run for the next five weeks. So we really want to build this kind of grassroots community around the show. And then as of the week commencing March 11th, that's when it will start hitting the streaming platforms. And you'll see a kind of more traditional marketing campaign with billboards and in Times Square and LA and London. And then once we're through that, then we've set the foundations to killer whales. And hopefully by then, touch wood, it'll be a household name. And then the, the challenge then is making season two. And obviously, I, I think, I don't know if we've announced this publicly yet, but I, I know you guys are back as producers and, and whales on the show. Uh, we're looking to expand the season, do more episodes, kind of more drama, and, and just kind of build on what we've got as a foundation. So that's what we're looking for, Killer Whales. And then for Hello Labs, we we kind of our focus over the last year has been predominantly on Killer Whales. I think now that we've succeeded, successfully landed this plane, I think the next step is now how can we add more token utility? We're looking at ways of kind of building in some kind of, I don't want to give too much away, but it's something that once Killer Whales is, is out the way, we'll be able to expand on. But there's more token utility coming. And yeah, I think it's an exciting time. And, and this whole crypto market, I mean, as we are recording this today, you don't want to date this show, but kind of Bitcoin just hit, hit over 50K. Um, and I feel like the ETF and, and the whole industry has got a buzz about it again. And the hope is that Killer Whales and, and Hello Labs can be kind of spearheading that as well and, and kind of bringing in new faces, which is why we're called Hello after all. I did want to ask you this, Paul. Is there any notable thing that you're that you're updating or changing about season two that you learned from season one? For example, I think it's become more defined, like a prize that you know contestants win mm -hmm. if they get all five things. Like, what have you learned going into the next season? I think one of the main feedback, one of the main feedback we've got is kind of how do we raise the stakes? I think some people watching the show are kind of looking at it like, yeah, it looks great. And kind of getting some crypto knowledge that it's sinking and swimming but what do the actual projects get i mean we know that they get the exposure to the people at home that's the kind of key thing the projects want but i think what we can work on is how do we add some kind of uh like raise the stakes even more so for season two we'll be looking at ways of doing that and i think there's some ideas that i've got and, and we should talk offline about it as well about how we can expand that because what makes the show really great is that sense of a game show reality show as well. And, and I think we really need to build on that for season two. And, and we've got some clever ideas, I think, which will really up the, up the stakes. It's incredibly exciting that this show is out. We're planning for season two already. And I encourage everybody in our audience to go watch the show right now, linked below. And then after March 11th hits, then you can go on Apple TV and also watch the show. And let us know in the comments of this video what you liked about the show, what you didn't like, the moments that you liked. And I want to reiterate to our audience that have, uh, you know, whether you really like a judge or hate a judge, whether you like Scaramucci, hate Scaramucci, like Rand Nooner, don't like Rand Nooner, like Altcoin Daily, don't like Altcoin Daily, you're going to love the show because a lot of times we're getting into it and saying, why did you say that, Rand? Why did you say that, Scaramucci? And really like you know, the back and forth. I think uh, I think people are really going to like the show. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, final thoughts, Paul. Yeah, and just piggybacking on what you just said there is we are making the show and we want the audience, you guys, the reason we've launched it, doing a Web3 launch first is we want that feedback. We want you guys to be part of building the show with us. And we, if you've got any ideas for judges for season two, projects for season two, um, then come to us in the comments or come to the Hello Labs Telegram chat, kind of get to know us a bit better and help us kind of shape the show in the vision that the whole industry wants because we're doing this as much for the crypto community as we are for to make a TV show. It's as much about the TV show being on Apple and the other platforms as it is about being in the Web3 community as well.